Hello and welcome to video one for part one of algebra for the review modules. We're going way back to the very starting operations of mathematics. So the basic operations, and I'm not of course expecting any of these to be new to any of you, but one of the reasons I want to review them is because the notation for these things changes as we move through mathematics. So you're all familiar with the basic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, these have conventional grade school notations, 3 times 7, 12 divided by 4. And these notations are still used a little bit, but as we move on in mathematics, for various reasons, these notations tend to get dropped. And we typically write multiplication by just writing things adjacent to each other um, with numbers, and particularly when we get into, into variables, unknowns, constants. a times b is written just as a adjacent to b. Likewise with division, for reasons that we can discuss later in these modules, we tend to want to write this as a fraction instead of using the division symbol. So we always interpret fractions as division and divisions as fractions. And lastly, of course, we also have exponents as a basic operation. In addition to the basic operation, I want to talk about one of the most important rules about the interaction between the operations. That's particularly the interaction between division and multiplication over and against addition and subtraction, that is the distributive law. And that says that if you have a multiplication and an addition, the multiplication distributes over the addition. So we apply the multiplication to both pieces of the addition. So six, sorry, four multiplied by six plus 11 is the same as four multiplied by six and four multiplied by 11. And you can work that out. And these both work out to six plus 11 is 17. Four times 17 is uh, where we have 68, and then again, 4 times 6 is 24, 4 times 11 is 44, those also add up to 68. Both of these things work. And we can do this in either notation, we can do this with addition or subtraction. So again, multiplication distributes over subtraction. 7 times 12 minus 3, 7 times 9 is 81. It's the same thing as 7 times 12 minus 7 times 3. 7 times 12 is 84, 7 times 3 is 21. The difference there is again the same 63. Uh, division also distributes, even if we write it on the left or on the right, so 6 plus 4 divided by 2. We can do the 6 plus 4 and then divide by 2, or we can do the dis distribution, distributing the division over the multiplication, or over the addition, rather, and we get that 10 divided by 2 is 5. It's the same as 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. Add those up, we also get 5. We can write this in notation using the division symbol, or we can write this in fraction notation, as I talked about in the previous little slide. And here we distribute again, this 1 7th distributes as division by 7 over 21 minus 14, and that works out to 1 on both sides. Now in this last case, I want to talk a little bit about the distributive law for division, because what's going on here is we're Distributing here, you can think of this as 1 third 9 plus 18. We're distributing the 1 third here, but I can write that as a fraction as 9 plus 18 over 3. It's the same thing, multiplying by 1 third, dividing by 3, writing this as a fraction, that's all the same thing. So dis the distributive law here looks like splitting up this fraction into two pieces. And if you want to remember that easily, you can remember that we can split up fraction numerators. So this looks like splitting up the numerator, it's exactly what it is, it's, it's the distributive law, but it works out as the ability when we have addition or subtraction in the numerator of a fraction, we can split that up. And if we work this out, 9 plus 18 is 27, 27 over 3 is 9, 9 over 3 is 3, 18 over 3 is 6, 3 plus 6 is also 9, so this works out to 9 on both sides. We can do this with subtraction, we can split up a subtraction fraction and these again work out to 3 on both sides. We do it here, 25 minus 10 is 15, divided by 5 is 3. We do it here, 25 over 5 is 5, 10 over 5 is 2, 5 minus 2 is also 3. Both those work out to 3. And it's important to note that this is splitting up numerators but not denominators. This doesn't work. If you wanted to test it, look at this possible equality here at the bottom. We have 1 over 2 plus 3. Well, if we just add the 2 plus 3, we get 1 fifth. But if I split up the denominator, I would get 1 half plus 1 third. If I add those fractions together, I'd have to go to a common denominator of 6. I would get 5 6. 1 fifth and 5 6 are certainly not the same thing. So I have to conclude that I can't split up 
the denominators of fractions the same way that I split up numerators of fractions. And if you want to know the reason for that, it goes back to the distributive law. We can split up the numerator of fractions because what we're doing is we're distributing division by 3 into division by 3 of the first and division by 3 of the second.